And this was their initial attack plan and then the Supreme Court. Uh, this was a group I had infiltrated on their request. And when I found out what they were doing, that they were going to attack these judges, and they were going to attack the Supreme Court, I tried to end around them. I had minders, people kept tabs on me. I had FBI minders, but I tried to end around them and expose it. And uh, I took all the evidence and went to Homeland Security, who uh, were overwhelmed and uh, called in the FBI. And then the DOJ, which came right back on me, and they picked me up just a few weeks later when they found out who I was. And uh, but damage to their plots had been done. They did uh, uh, get close to assassinating people up there. Uh, Lisa Monaco, the judge were under 24 7 security. Uh, Martha Copley had uh, in state security. And it did prevent them from going after the Supreme Court. All their other plans were all out. They had maps, they had the weapons, they had everything planned. So at least it prevented something like that. Now, were the teams that were supposed to do the actual operations against the judges? Were those Americans or were they foreign? No, they were Americans. Okay. Uh, from, uh, from, um, a third would be the sovereign citizen group and two thirds would be FBI people mm -hmm. or people working with the FBI. Uh, they, uh, they were going to get rid of them anyway. They actually had recordings of uh, their planning on the phone with me as you know, part of this group. And then they uh, did not hang up the phone. They did not kill the phone. And uh, we were listening to them talk about killing me and my wife, things like that. And another time they actually butt dialed me and uh, we're talking about, he was on the phone talking to various people and about their plans, about who they're going after and what they were gonna do to us because we knew too much and we were outside at the time. So uh, they could not do their plan. We, had, we got the people under surveillance. We saved them, we some credit for saving them. Uh, they were very upset that their plans had gone. The crowd were very upset with me, especially when they came and picked me up. But it stopped it. Uh, their plans were written out. They were they, they had maps, they had surveillance, they had quite a bit of equipment. What was the timeline that they were hoping to do this in? This would be uh, right after, within the first year of Hillary Clinton's presidency. She was not supposed to lose. So this was all planned up, and it was it was more than just that. It was it was twofold. They wanted to pack the court, uh, and take out as many as they could. Uh, Roberts was actually helping because he didn't want to be one of them, and he wanted some uh, choice in who would be on the bench after that. He wanted to maintain some form of control, so he did provide information. But uh, it was supposed to be done within the first year of Hillary Clinton's campaign, so that they could ban firearms as well. But uh, and pack the court. So they'd have plenty of time to do that. That was their two main goals. Do you believe the death of, uh, of Anton Scalia was a part of this same plot, or is that? Do you know if that was a separate? Uh, it's the same people. He was a, a backup plan. He was their biggest.